I have a video about restricting Windows Remote Desktop to your zero tier or tail scale in that case uh, network so that if you're traveling around with your computer nobody on the other networks or the local network at a coffee shop a hotel can try to connect to your remote desktop I have type VNC installed on this computer so we'll try to do the same thing here so we'll open you can search for Windows Defender go to the advanced settings open up the Windows advanced firewall let's go to uh, inbound rules and let's look for I have type VNC installed for my VNC client you may be using something else Here it is. It was at the top. I overlooked it. Let's go to scope. We're going to restrict the address here instead of any address. This local is like for physical adapters on the computer. You know, on the same machine. You with the one you're wanting to go to is remote. And we're going to only allow, in this case, my zero tier subnet is 192.168 dot 194.167 oh, I keep forgetting that with the virtual machine it's not registering those numbers 168.194.167 oh that's the name of it that's the specific computer I'm trying to control I want to put dot zero slash 24 I know this looks like a private internet address and it is, but that just so happens to be the subnet, you know, is in the 192.168, which is for private internal addresses. That's what also this test demo zero tier network uses this subnet. So I'm going to click OK, apply, and OK. So now, if I try to launch Type VNC and try to connect, what you're going to see, if I try to connect over the physical network, like imagine this is somebody at your office somebody at your, in your house which is unlikely or somebody at a coffee shop or a hotel and they're going to try to get into your remote access and they try to connect nothing's going to happen but if I try to connect to my zero tier interface it pops right up so it's just like how I did it with uh, with remote Windows Remote Desktop, this makes you another level of security. That was from the first time when I tried typing the, the local address. It didn't work. It took that long and couldn't find it. Now, let's say if I wanted to... Uh, so now, only, I could even restrict that to one specific computer in the by changing the IP address. But I just made sure that the only thing that could connect to my tight VNC was my secure zero tier network. You can do the same thing with tail scale. That way people on the other people on your network, at the coffee shop, at the hotel, at your office, people on the internet cannot even attempt to connect to it. It's just another layer of security. To demonstrate that, let's, that that's what it did. If I would delete that rule, then my home address would be able to connect. If I come back up here to scope and and just change it to any address then this will be able to connect over the interface because now it's open to anybody now it won't go somebody from out on the internet if you don't have a hole in your firewall they couldn't get to it but imagine you're in a coffee shop or somewhere where somebody can get to your computer they can still attack you this way so I can connect over the local address this way but But if I restrict it to my zero tier, if I restrict it to my zero tier subnet, you're going to see that this won't work. And it might take several minutes before it throws up an error message. But it won't be able to go through. But if I try to connect on my zero face inter 
zero tier interface, it's going to go right through. It's just another way to make you feel secure about it, and you'll see that that local network failed. This was the same thing I basically did with Microsoft Remote Desktop, and I just wanted to show how to do it on Type BNC also. Thanks.